Good morning, gang. Holy moly, it's cold here in Florida. Cold enough I put on pants, and that doesn't happen very often at all. I normally wear capris. It's not cold enough I have tennis shoes on yet, but, so. but it's pretty dang cold. Let's see, 49. That's really cold. That is cold for Fort Myers. We, do, we just don't get cold. So anyway, woohoo. Today starts World AIDS Week for me. So today is November 29th, 2023. It's my daddy's birthday. So my first stop is to take my parents to breakfast. And then I have my first World AIDS Day CE event. It's a virtual class, so I don't have to leave the house. So that's cool. Then I have class today, then um, a regular class. And then this afternoon, I have to take Wendell for treatment. And then this afternoon after that, I have another World AIDS Week event um, where I'm zooming in for another, another talk. So World AIDS Week is a super busy two week period usually in my life, um, but not like it used to be. And I really miss those days. I miss those days that we had the big community events, that we were all together, that we remembered those we lost and we celebrated those that were still here and the progress that we made. Um, those still happen in some places, just not like they used to because, well, because we're 40 years into this, 40 plus years into this. So, um, you know, just doesn't happen the way it used to, but that's okay. It's my job to make sure that each one of you that watch me or know me at least know your status. So if you haven't had an HIV test um, ever, then now's the time to do it. If you've had unprotected sex without a committed partner since your last HIV test, then now's the time to do it. Um, know your status. That's the important thing. Know your status.